Hello everyone, Ninja here. Today I'll be taking a look at some new cosmetics coming to Clash of Clans. First we have a new skin for the Grand Warden, the Shadow Warden. This is a legendary skin that is purchased from the offer shown in the shop. If you haven't unlocked the Grand Warden yet, you can still purchase the skin and it will be available to use once it's unlocked in your village. This is the fourth skin in the Shadow set, with the Shadow skins for the Barbarian King Arch Queen and Royal Champion being available in previous gold passes. He is wearing purple robes with a hood with a large number of feathers on his back. His staff is now a golden snake with a large eyeball in its mouth that has the ability to look around. The tome he holds has a golden clasp and he has glowing purple eyes, very spooky. When you switch to the skin, he floats in from above and throws the eyeball from his staff into the air. He then catches it as his tome flies in and lands on his palm. Let's take a look at him in action. He fires a purple beam as his target, otherwise it's a fairly standard affair. When you tap on him in your village, his tone flies in the air and then lands on his palm again. When he's recovering, he's hunched over his altar with the eye on his staff on lookout. Next up, we have a new scenery which is called Shadow Scenery. This is available for purchase from the Office tab. The grass in the main map area has been replaced by dark grey tiles. They appear to have been there for some time as some are cracked with moss or other plants growing in between them. Taking a closer look, to the northwest we can see a couple of baby dragon statues either side of a doorway. One of the statues has suffered some damage and the head is lying on the ground. Looking through the doorway, there's a plinth with a banana on it. Moving around to the northeast, there's a large dragon head with lava flowing from its mouth. There are also some columns with smaller baby dragon statues on. There's a doorway and some windows behind with an eerie blue glow coming from them. To the southeast, we can see a pool of lava with dragon head gargoyles that have lava flowing from them. There are some large doors that are partially open with the same blue glow we saw before. Finally, to the southwest, there's a large purple pool. Every so often, gas bubbles rise and burst on the surface, leaving ripples. As with the other recent sceneries we've seen, the boat to the builder base has been remodelled. This time it has a dragon figurehead and gold plating on it. If you check the events tab, there's a new shadow challenge available. Here you can see the new scenery in action. I'm sure there'll be various different tutorials out there from the other content creators if you're struggling completing it. As previously mentioned, the new scenery and skin will be available in the in-game shop. If you are planning on making any purchases and would like to support my work, please consider using Code Ninja. That's it from me. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. Links to Twitter and Discord are also in the description. Thanks for watching.